says oh. archers. It's right up here. I'm gonna go slow. It wasn't very slow. Well, we can get it on the way out. <laughs> no rain here. Is that an archery shop in there then? No, there's not really an archery shop anywhere. That is your steel target. One of your steel targets. All those are steel. Alright, Doc, I gotta get my school card. I get to be the caddy today. There's one of the ranges right out here. You nervous? You nervous yet? Getting a little nervous. Hands shaking. I can see one of my arrows getting broke right here. Pretty easily. This is the steel challenge here? Yeah, oh. All those trees are steel and you gotta stand at these pins and shoot the deer in between the So the steel isn't all the way around the deer, it's just obstacles all the way around yeah. it. And you can't move to the side and shoot or anything. You have to shoot from at each one of these pins. Yeah, like that deer laying down right there. I like the one out there where the tree branches are. Yeah. Here's hmm. one of your. Here's a couple of your kid targets right there. Then you've got to shoot literally right in between that branch that's falling over. You're allowed to range each of these then. Yeah, you can range them. Like yesterday, this is. Without the trees right there, I shot this yesterday for the HHA. Oh, it was um, this, the same one. They just didn't have the trees. Yeah, this is this was the HHA. Um, and what happens for warriors. when your rangefinder hits that tree, and now your range is off? Right. By luckily for me, unless they've moved them, I've already got them pre-ranged from yesterday. From when I do you have them. a range card then that you got? I guess our first target right here is going to be a zebra. We're gonna actually be shooting from the red stake men's hunter class. Pretty cool. Oh, we got different colored pins. This is a safari. Here's a giraffe. Hippo. I'm 39 yards. Are all of them off a little bit so they're not even like uh, 20, 30, 40? I got 38.8. So, 38 so you got a, oh, you're dialing. Yeah. Different dials for different numbers here. The 12 rings just dead center. You can't see it from here without the binoculars. So you just get one shot? Yeah, one shot at each target. That one looks a little to the right, but I think we're still in the pen. Bow hunter would be red. The white is open class, and this is for cub class. Oh, I shot a little low. Well, this is the 10 ring. This is the 12 ring. I'm in the 8. If it now, if this was just a hair up right here and touching the line, you can count it up. Mm -hmm. Already starting out pretty bad with an eight. How do you know which color pin? Oh, it says down here. Yeah, for the different glasses. Uh, at the very top in the white, it'll show you red. I think it says red for bow hunter. Yep. Yeah. Red pin. Twenty-eight point eight. I think that was a twelve. Good check. 
see the 12. It's, there's so many hoes in it, I can't, can't even see it. So I'm just going to aim for dead center, uh, you know, where, you, where it kind of looks like right there. About where the 12 is. 38.5. Looks like a twelve. Maybe a little right. So once you get down here, you'll be able to see all these holes in here. You can't really tell. They ought to paint our colored rings, but I guess that's part of the well, the real animals don't have don't colored rings on them. They have a pink and a yellow ring on them to aim for. That was a little right, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was way right. See, I couldn't tell. I couldn't. I couldn't see it through my binoculars. That. That ain't good. That's an eight. All them usually through the hunting season, but yeah. He don't come out here and do these shoots. <laughs> I do it for fun. Yeah, it's a good thing to do to get ready for season. Yeah. 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 That one's way low. And I can see the ring. Now it's a little high, but I'm still in the 10. This is just, I mean, it's throwing, this throws me off really bad. But it is what it is. I mean, this one is realistic. This is just the way you'll see a deer right in the tree line in the shadows. So what do you think this is? 20... Before I range it? Yeah, that's what you need to be doing. 28. 28? Yeah. I say 24. 28 too. Really, really blacked out up there. Does that look like I, it? 
I think you need to aim like an inch above where it's blacked out. If we're going to go by the 10 ring, I could be wrong. Oh, that's why. Had it on 32. Whoops. Oh well. A little above 30 instead of 28. Well, see, I could see the 10 ring. Yeah, I could see this yeah, one. Yeah, I was right. I was looking at here. I knew that's what blew out, but I figured by that, the 12 ring would be there. That's why I said one inch. 31. I just always imagine turkey hunting and where the kill range is. And I mean, the, the target distorts it too when you get a huge target back there. Because I've been lost where I'm supposed to be shooting at. I mean, it's camouflaged. Yeah, it's a no, maybe. Yep. yep, it's a 12. I think that's dead <laughs> on. Oh no, you're on the line. You're over the line. Yeah, just but a little. That's I'm a in. 12. I'm in. That's a 12. Oh, I like this. I think things are starting to get good now going into the woods. Is his head just cockeyed or something? No, the antlers are that way. His head's not. I just go by where all the holes are, just where you'd shoot a regular whitetail. Follow that leg straight up and right in the vital V. That's where I'd want to shoot one, right? Rabbit with a... I think that's what they call a jack... Red and the white in the same spot right here. Now that should be perfect bow range. Yep. Is it 20 or is it 18? By looking at it from here, it's a frog. A big toad. A big Amazon frog. Yeah. It is. Look at the spots on his back. Well. Now, how did you blow that shot? Uh, jerked my arm. As soon as I was coming. Uh, what do you think? 21. 21? 26.4. 26? I haven't got a one right. I don't know how you're going to see the hard to see. 12 ring. I think aim, yeah, yeah, and there's a little nick coming off to the right of the left black thing, and I think that should be your aim spot. I think you're touching the line. Seventeen yards, it's a crow. I can't even see the rings. I'm in there. Man, that sure looks good. You see that thing move when I hit it? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, but your arrows, I didn't even notice that. They're all dead on, you know, none of that, oh. none of that kicking off. I'm in the 10. No, Where is the 12? I'm in, I'm You're in touching. the 12. You're on the 12. I'm in the 12. I thought that was the 12. <laughs> four, one. That's a hard one. I can't see the rings on I this one either. I think we're in the 12. I've been wrong every time. I think it's going to be 20 or 198. Oh, I was, I, I was in there. Not that that's what it looks like to me. I just, I've been wrong every time, so. See that real dark black on there? Yeah. It's just a smidge above that real dark black.
Uh, you're high. 21.1. See me shoot that steel challenge up there. This is just getting us prepared right now. This is... This is 25, I think. But see, you're not right on the pin either. 27.8. 27.8. No wonder I miss so many deer. No, I dropped my arm. This would be a good course just to go through and guess ranges. God, I guess the trees are just. And you see that black spot, that real, real black spot? Yeah. It's about right there, right below it. Mm. There's a little high on him, too, on the back. Ah, 19.5. 21.8. And it's literally yeah. right in the center of, just below the two white things in the dead center. What? The 10 for sure. Possibly a 12. I mean, it looks like a 12 from back here. It might be on the line. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's a 12. I think. Oh, it's right above the 12. 10. Wow. Almost. With mounds, and they actually... 30.5. Can you even see the 12 ring? Yeah, see the two yellow stripes? Yeah, between them? It's about midway in between them. Not a good one. Pin. Maybe. 31. 24. Jeez. Man. <laughs> no wonder I never hit deer where I'm Don't aiming. That nasty worn out spot is. Yeah, is that it? Right below it. Thirty-seven. I'm gonna say thirty-five. Thirty-three point five. We haven't shot one forty yet, have we? No. We shot a thirty-eight. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve. Flex your arrows. Did you see my arrow do that? Yeah. That was the win. See, I did. I did a. Uh, shotgun test one time with different shotgun shells yeah. and, and size that I was in a 20 mile an hour direct crosswind. Oh, that wasn't a 12. I thought it was. That's a 10. Oh, man. Look how small that 12 ring is at that range. Yeah, 33. Well, crap. I thought it was. It looked like a 12 from that back there. Oh, well. I'll take Put the bottom green right between his boobies. 56? 54.8. What well, I got? 55. I like this number a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but.
Uh. I'm sorry, my headache. I'm like, I thought they said it was like 60 or 70. Well, they're on a di they were on a different. They're shooting from back there, right? Five? Yeah, we're we're not in the, uh, anywhere. We're in the five. It's a five if you hit. Oh, don't I'm hit. Sorry, an eight. Oh. Here's an eight. My bad. I seen it. That's okay. I knew. I knew it wasn't a very close. <laughs> I was right there. You were right there. Dang. That's close. I guess that when they do it with him standing sideways, here's one for sideways. Yeah, yeah, there's one on the side too. It's not a 12? No. I would have bet a hundred bucks that was a 12. Too, Man, the 12's the, 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 the size of a half dollar. Yep. That's a hard target. Wow. Yep. It's a lot smaller than it looks back there it looked like a full-size hog from back there i guess that's what throws the range off because mm -hmm. i thought it was a lot somebody's telling me that you got those aren't antlers they're horns and they come off and they'll and i didn't take it off but i noticed it was loose so i filled it full of elmer's glue yeah. over a couple days so it won't come off and he told me oh you've got to pull those off because later on, bugs and stuff can get in them. You can pretty much see the, the 12 from here. It's, it looks like a new target. And I think we hit it. Well. Man, that's bullseye there. Right. Wow. It's probably like a, one of those self-healing uh, inserts. I think you'll like it a, a lot better. Everyone on YouTube is probably like, why is this moron carrying a bunch of arrows? I'm not doing it for this course. I'm doing it because I know I'm going to break at least two over there on that course. Way, way low. I don't know what I, what I did wrong. It's an eight. They're going to wait for me to go. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. let you go ahead. I, I dropped my arm on that one. That was, some that was an on eight. Oh, yeah, somebody's in a bad mood over here. <laughs> I am too right now. I keep shooting low, and I don't know why. Yesterday I was like six, seven, twelve at the end. Yeah, I literally. This is my second day shooting these. I went from the blazers. Those rip TKOs. Huh? Are those rip TKOs. Uh, the AAE Max. Four Fletch. Thirty-five six. You mark your arrows. I used to do that all the time where I'd put numbers on them and stuff. Not good. Is that another eight? Well, let's concentrate on the 12.
you're going to need a ladder to retrieve your arrow. 38.5. I don't do numbers. I'd have to write it down. Oh, it might be a 12. So what is that, a 10? Yeah, 10. Just Four or five. Well, you need a a U-Haul to take it home. I mean, it comes apart, but a little excessive. This is one of those targets you need high FOC to penetrate through something like that. <laughs> That 12 ring is where it's all blistered up through there, where you can see, you know, 25.5. Arm getting sore. A little bit. It, that really and truly it went off. So how many miles are we going to walk before this is over with to get 50? <laughs> I would say we're probably going to walk 8 to 10 miles today. 8 to 10 miles. Yep. Yeah, it took a lot of work to bush hog all this down, lay it out. What is that, 40 yards? This one looks like it's about 40. 44.3. Let's listen to the difference between release and impact. Now, how would a deer not jump your string on that? Low. 44.3. And that's a what? Oh, this is an eight. I thought that was a ten ring ring right there, and then that's you know what I mean? Yeah, you need to work that out. Yeah, I haven't worked it out yet completely. Because I know I'm not when, doing I, horrible. <laughs> when I put lighted knocks on the end of my arrows, I mean everything changed. Yeah. And I even weighed them and I tried to do the calculus or the trigonometry, you know, because you got your got your center, you got your FOC, and that's your fulcrum, and then when you add weight on the back, it's not equal weight on the front that you added to the back. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not in the center of the arrow. And I forget. I don't know. I wrote it all down somewhere. The water buffalo here. Is that touching or no? There's the ring. I think it's touching right here. I call it touching. Would you so call that it? 12? I mean, it's definitely on the line. Would you call that 12? I call it 12. 22. Right above the front shoulder. I can feel my arms wearing down on me pretty bad. <laughs> See you.